Once upon a time, in a galaxy very, very close to home, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city in Galilee named Nazareth. His mission was clear. It was to deliver the biggest news headline in the history of mankind. Who was he delivering this message to? Well, you know. You better know. Rejoice! Rejoice and keep rejoicing! Please do not stop rejoicing. Highly favored you in the eyes of the Lord. He is certainly with you. Super blessed you among women. What? Well, what's going on? Do not be afraid, Mary. Who said I was afraid? Oh, well, never mind then. God is pleased with you. You will become pregnant and you will give birth to a son. What? Is this a joke? No. Does this look like a joke? Why would I waste my time coming to you in a dream to tell you a joke? Oh, yeah. Good point. <clears throat> Anyways, you must name him Jesus. What kind of name is that? Why? Will you stop interrupting? Sorry. Thank you. You must name him Jesus, which is an awesome name, by the way, so deal with it. He'll be great and be called the Son of the Most High God. The Lord will make him a king like his father, David, from a long time ago. He will rule forever over his people who came from Jacob's family. His kingdom will never end. Well, what do you think? Oh, oh, I didn't know you were done. How can this happen? I am a virgin. The Holy Spirit will come to you. The power of the Most High God will cover you. So the Holy One that is born will be called the Son of God. Your relative Elizabeth is old, and even she is going to have a child. Whoa. Uh. Sorry. People thought she could not have children, but she has been pregnant for six months now. Nothing is impossible with God. I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. What a dream. How would you feel if you had a, a dream like that? Crazy stuff. So it came to pass that Mary went and visited her cousin Elizabeth. Cousin Elizabeth. She was an old lady and stuff, and lie the angel certainly did not. She was as pregnant as pregnancy ever gets. There is no way you could mistake that thing for a pot belly. Elizabeth praised the baby with it that was in Mary's bed, belly because the baby in her own belly had leapt with joy. She knew that Mary was pregnant with someone special. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months, and then she returned home. Returning home was not the most pleasant experience an expectant mother could enjoy. Joseph found out she was pregnant. Oh, the drama. <laughs> what? Is this some sort of joke? If this is, I'm not laughing. Do you see me laughing? Joseph, I am pregnant with the Holy Spirit. This is not a joke. I am to have a son. His name will be Jesus. My goodness, woman! This is the most ridiculous story I ever heard. And I've heard of some doozies. Believe me, Joseph, I had a dream of an angel telling me all of this. Fine, do what you want. The Lord is with me. <sighs> I'm just going to have to divorce you quietly. No sense getting rocks thrown at you by everybody. This can be our little secret. What a considerate, heart-loving, warm, generous kind of guy. Later that night. <laughs> yes, I'd like some cheesecake. Thank you very much. You have nice cheesecake. Good evening, Joseph. Whoa, who are you? I am Gabriel! Can I help you with anything? No, not really. Thank you. So. Well? Well? Aren't you supposed to tell me something? Am I? Well, why are you here? What? I can't stop by and say hello? Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm here to tell you that your soon-to-be wife is telling the truth, and that you shouldn't divorce her, even quietly. What? This has to be a dream. Yes, that is correct. It is a dream. 
Am I supposed to believe you? That's the point of all this. Fine, fine, I'll believe you. Good. I'm glad. Good luck with everything. Um... Joseph woke up the next morning wondering if he was going crazy over this thing. He wasn't given too much time to think about it because soon afterwards, Augustus Caesar had declared for a census. Everybody in the Roman Empire was to return back to their hometowns. All hail Caesar, by the right of law, it is required that all citizens of the Jewish state return their hometowns for the great census. That was quick. Joseph was returned to his hometown, Bethlehem. Because he was engaged to Mary, he was supposed to take her along. There was an apology to be made, however. Oh, uh, Mary, there's something I gotta tell you. Yes, dear. What was that? <sighs> I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Oh, what gave you a change of heart? A ridiculous dream. I have one like that, too. Did it have some angel guy named Gabriel or something? Yeah, a really scary guy. Do you want to come to Bethlehem with me? I need to return to my hometown for a Roman census. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> the cosmic events that were being stirred up. What a pretty night! Yeah, I'm saying it does look pretty sweet. <laughs> it looks as if the star... Hey, hey, look, it's the Big Dipper! Where? Whoa, look at that! Where? Oh, that! What is that? I have no idea. Let me look it up. Say, isn't there a prophecy that says something like this is supposed to happen around now? I know what you're talking about. Look it up real quick! Aha, uh -huh, yes, it says it right here. The Kingdom of Kings will be going today. Oh, that's what you guys are talking about. I have a book that says the star will lead us to where the king would be born. Really? Me? Yeah, it says right here. Let's go find out. Let's. This is history in the making. Good idea, guys. We better bring some gifts to him just in case. Intermission. <laughs> <laughs> 